Sometimes, when we make things in on shape, we forget to dimension them, or we dimension them wrong, and they end up being the wrong size, like this little teensy tiny book that I made. If we want to fix that, we're going to have to take some steps. First things first, I'm going to just delete this little tiny one, and I'm going to create a new part studio. Then we're going to use this thing called derived. We're going to derive a new part based on the one that we already made. So here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. Deriving means that we're gonna make a new thing based on the old thing. So here's my little book. Check. All right, so here's my little book and um, I'm gonna go ahead and select the book. Book has a lot of letters, so the loading times are a little long. And I'm going to use this tool right here. It's in the drop down menu. It says transform. Of course, you can use search tools to find it and just type in transform. Transform can actually do a lot of different, th different things. There's all these different options. In this case, we're looking for scale. What scale is going to do is it's going to expand or shrink. Now, before we can do that, we're going to need to pick a point to base the shrinking off of. You could use, in this case, any point will work for our purposes. If we're just changing the whole thing, the point doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use this corner right here. And then you just add a number. Let's make this, oh, three times as big. Or three, no, let's do 2.5. 2.5 times as big, click check, and then we wait. Ta-da, it made it two and a half times as big. So now I can go over to my other assembly and I can insert from the part studio that part. And now I can move it where I want it. Come on, those letters, man, they make it load really slow. Ta-da, there is my book at the size that I wanted it. 